guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today um i believe today is day 32 out of devotionals and today's devotional is called two-facedness a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaketh lies shall not escape proverbs 19:5. Girls, morning fellows, Christian and non-Christian, are often thought to be two-faced. Two-faced. Oh, I love that dress, you might hear one of them say. It looks just beautiful on you. Then what? You turn around and what are their comments to those standing around? That old rag looks horrible on her. I wish I could have told her. In God's book, two-facedness is sin. You are not being polite by saying one thing to a person's face and another behind his back. No, you are not being polite. You are being a liar. And God says that lying is sin. Sometimes, Christian people make a joke and laugh about the verse in the Bible, which tells us what will happen to liars. But nothing, no nothing, and God's work is a joke. And God's word is a joke. Nothing is, nothing is nothing. But nothing to be is to be laughed or at or ignored the bible still says and there shall in no wise enter into it heaven anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie revelation twenty one twenty seven. lying isn't something new it has been going on almost since time began god clearly condemned lying in the ten commandments you don't recognize it the words may be just a bit different but the truth is there Read it for yourself in Exodus twenty sixteen. Thou shalt not bear false witness. What is a false witness? It is a lie, not just a little fib or a so-called white lie. It is a lie full of sin and quite the opposite of what God expects to hear from his children. No, you do not have to hurt people by telling them their clothes look like rags, neither do you need to be unkind or thoughtless in your speech. But as a child of God, a member of the royal family of Christ, you should not, no, you must not bear false witness, lie, for this is sin. A fib, a lie, prevarication, the name won't change to con condemnation. An additional reading out of the Bible, Acts, Acts tap, chapter 5, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Okay. I have my Bible right here. And I will go find the Bible scripture and read it to you. Hmm. It might take a little bit. All right, I found it. It says, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold the possession, and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost, and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whiles it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost, and great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out, and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after, when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yeah, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then she fell down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. So, okay, this is powerful. So,
Okay, so, anyway, back to the devotional. Um, so, two-facedness, like it says in the Bible, it is sin. It is the same thing as lying. And saying, th saying something to one person and behind their back say something else. And, like, for example, I'm, do I'm doing a devotional right now. Oh, yep. So, um, so it says it's the same thing as um making a promise to someone to not like tell a secret and then you go behind your back and tell somebody else. That's still two facedness. That that's an example of a two facedness, but basically. You, you can just say something else and one to another. You need to keep your word. You can't just say something else behind your back because how do you expect to be a true friend if you're doing the same thing they're doing? If if you're you're doing the same thing your enemy is doing, like going behind people's backs and saying something else and talking behind your back because that's not a good friend. That is just lying and that is two faced in this. And how do you expect people to trust you if you're doing those very same things? that um the people that that like to do that well, how do you expect to um for people to trust you if you're doing the very same things just to be popular just to fit in for example if you're doing those things just to be popular fit in trust me it's not going to work because you're just going to lose those true friends that you have in your life that really are there for you and not are not being fake because at the end of the day if you have those fake friends they're going to eventually leave and you're going to have no friends and Trust me, lying it gets you nowhere really because you're just gonna lose people, um, and they're gonna walk out of your life because they don't know if they can trust you. So you need to really be careful on just being honest, but also not being uh, at the same time you need to be honest, and at the same time you need to be un not not unkind and thoughtless, but you, at the same time you need to be kind and thoughtful with when you you're being honest because. You can't just do things you feel like it. You need to do what God wants you to do, and not do what your flesh is telling you to do. Because the flesh, well, your flesh is gonna tell you to do wrong things and make wrong decisions and bad decisions, and that's not what you want to do. You want to listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Telling you, you want to you want to listen to what God is telling you to do, and you want to make good choices and listen to what He's saying and obey God and and stuff like that you you don't not want to turn you don't want to turn your back on God because at the end of the day like God is always there for you and he doesn't deserve that you know he's done so much for us more than you can ever imagine and you need to just be a little bit more thoughtful when it comes to that but the false witness is is a lie like it doesn't matter if it's just a little fib or a light, white lie, or a big lie, or a little lie. It doesn't matter. It's still a lie. It is, it's still a lie no matter what. You can't, can't like, deny it. It's still a lie no matter what. It clearly says in the Bible, thou shalt not bear false witness, and that's a lie. You, We shall not lie. That's a sin, and we cannot be lying. We need to be honest no matter what, no matter how hard it is to say. No matter how how harsh it might be, and if people might need to hear it, if people need to hear it, then we need to be honest because we can't just say one thing to them and go behind their back and say something else. That's basically not being, that's basically not being trustworthy, you know, and you want to be a trustworthy friend. And I don't know, to be honest, I, that was my past. I did the very same stuff. I I'm going to be honest, I w was, I had a past where I wasn't a very good friend. Um, that was probably, that probably went on for a while. Um, probably for a year. So, it was kind of hard for my whole sophomore year. I wasn't a very good friend, you know. But that's in the past, and I'm glad I have a chance to start over. And... You know, I I think I've really learned from my mistakes because I've been pretty honest for quite a while now. 
and I've been, I, I've been trust, I, I, I make sure I'm honest and stuff like that, you know, I, I don't want to do that again, I don't want to be my past again, because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to end up losing friends, and I don't want to be the person being called a liar, because I don't want to be called that, I don't want to be known that, obviously, it doesn't matter if people know my name, it matters that, um, people know God's name, it matters, it matters that people know God, and they have them in their lives, Yes, it's very nice that the people know who I am, but it's not about me. It's about God. And we tend to forget that sometimes. It's not about us. Our lives are about God and living for God and serving God, do what he wants us to do. And we tend to be selfish and we tend to live for the world and we tend to forget what our true meaning and purpose on this earth is and why we were born. We tend to forget what our purpose is. It's not about us, it's about God. And we need to stop being, if, if there are people, um, for example, if, if you're watching this YouTube video right now and you omit to the sin and you do lie and you are two-faced, then it's not too late to give that up to God. Trust me, it's not too late. Like, um, God will forgive you no matter what. It doesn't matter what kind of sin you committed, he'll still forgive you and give you another chance to make things right. It's never too late to turn back to God, and it's never too late to start a relationship with God. So, if you really want to make that decision, then then that would be that would be really great. I would be very happy if you wanted to, but I'm never forcing you on that. If you wanted to make that decision, that is up to you. But it's never too late to confess your sins to God, especially if you admit that you lie and you're two-faced. Not saying that it's okay. It's not. It's not okay to make that type of decision. And we do not we do not have to hurt people by like being unkind and thoughtless in our speech. But we can. But as a child of God, a member of the royal family, of Christ, we we should not. We must not bear false witness or lie for this to sin. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't, we shouldn't be lying. We should and be bearing false witness because that is sin. And that's not what God wants us to do. And that's not what t God intends for us to do. He wants better, us to live better lives than that. And living lives for God. Living lives for Him. Spreading the gospel. Living for Him. Having a relationship with Him. And... Spending time with him every single day and having a personal and close relationship with him. And, yeah, we can't be making a joke about 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 liars or lies or two-faced people. We can't be making jokes about that because that's serious, you know. That's that's not what God would want us to do. Because we're no, we're, then we're no different. If we're joking about people who, who have hurt us and stuff behind their backs we're no different than them just think about it we're no different than them if we're, we're making fun of them behind their backs if even if even if they hurt us even if they're bullies or it doesn't matter we're still in the wrong and we're still no different than them if we're doing the same things they're doing so you need to really look at yourself in the mirror and really do think if if you are are do, if we are making committing the sin and if we are we need to confess it to God because we can't be holding on to this and he won't want us to confess it to him and stuff. Oh that's wrong. But I hope you enjoyed this devotion today. I hope God spoke to you and stay tuned for day thirty three out of devotionals. Um tomorrow yeah, tomorrow's devotional will be called Don't Just Stand There. So um, but yeah, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Definitely stay tuned for all my videos. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!